Okay, I think I'm all set. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, I got uh, two pieces of scrap fabric that I found in one of the thrift stores. Um, they're both exactly the same design, only um, different colors, but it's the same exact um, pattern of fabric. So I'm going to make a, a bodice out of this, a skirt out of this, and then I'm going to make a collar um, out of the red. But at the same time I'm going to show you how to in, uh, insert um, piping into the top of your bodice. Okay, so basically what I did is I took the pattern and what I did was instead of, since I'm going to use a collar on this, I don't really need that sweetheart look. So what I did was when I folded the pattern to cut it out I just, um, instead of going so down so far on the pattern, I just um, went up and over so it'll be easier for me to insert that piping. I'm just going to put piping across the top. So once you've got the pattern, you have to realize you're going to lose your quarter inches on top and the bottom. So take your doll that you're, um, before you cut your pattern out, take your pattern and put it up on your doll to make sure that... Um, it fits around the back and you'll have enough for your quarter inches on each side and enough to put your velcro in so I'm going to have uh, enough room here for about because you want this a tight bodice so I'm going to have more than enough room to tighten up that that bodice on the back of this dress I mean the back of this um, uh, blouse. Okay, and because I'm going to show you how to do this type of collar, I just want to make sure that when I do um, cut this out, that and after I sew it up together and put Velcro on the back, that it will cover and I won't have any fabric showing on top of that um, uh, main bodice part and the collar will be able to fit perfectly on top. Okay, so that looks good. So I've got my pattern ready to go. So I'm going to cut two pieces of yellow out of the main bodice part. So now I'm going to get my pattern ready for the collar. So um, take your, you're going to have to use freezer paper on this. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to actually cut the pattern out completely. So anyway, go ahead and take um, a cup piece of your um, freezer paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, put it on top of your pattern and then just trace it. Let's see if I can see it. It's kind of dark in here already. But you're only going to trace it in half because you want both sides of your bodice to be um, exactly the same. And like I said, you don't have to follow this pattern. You can make it absolutely anything you want. But as long as both sides are exactly the same, um, that's all you need to um, worry about. Okay, so that's where your fold is going to go right here. So pick your design out. Take your pattern, fold it in half. Okay, that looks about right. It's on the fold. Put a pin in, put a couple pins in here. And the reason I'm doing that is so my paper doesn't shift on me. And then I'm going to just cut my pattern out. Okay, so we're going to cut this out. Um, we're not going to cut it out of fabric, we're just going to cut it out of the paper, and then we're going to iron the paper onto a square piece. And then um, we're going to sew right along the paper. That way we don't have to deal with fussing with cutting these little scallops on the actual fabric itself. Now we've got that. We've got our paper. Let's put this back on. I shouldn't have taken it off. But let's put this back on. 
course, you're going to realize you're going to have your quarter inch seam allowances. Okay, so the blouse is on. So now we're going to take our collar and we're going to test our collar and make sure that when we do sew it, it's going to fit properly around that blouse. Okay, so that's basically what it's going to look like. The only difference between this one and the uh, pink polka dot one is I'm going to have, um, in fact, I'm going to have that uh, layer of red piping. And you're only going to see a little bit. You're only going to see the piping here and here and around the back. Okay, so our pattern's ready to go. So we've got our two pieces. Okay, so let's get our fabric um, out, ready to iron. Get rid of all this. Clean out my work area here. Put this away, this way. Okay, so get out your iron. My paper needs, my fabric needs to be changed again. It's getting uh, stained again. Okay, so get go to about mm, maybe a between a, a rayon and a wool. You can go cotton if you want to. It's not going to hurt the freezer paper. But okay, we decided that our collar is going to be red. So let's take this. And what you want to do is we're going to just um, iron out a quarter of the fab, uh, two squares. So let's see, where should I use the two squares? <laughs> Okay, now as you're doing this, make sure though that you're leaving yourself seam allowances. Don't, don't give yourself a square and not give yourself any seam allowances because you're going to have a quarter of an inch seam allowance around the whole thing. If you cut it even with your pattern, you're not going to have any um, seam allowance. So you're going to want to give yourself at least a quarter of an inch all the way around um, for your uh, seam allowances. I hope you can see this in that fabric. Okay, so there is where I want my collar to go. I've got a quarter inch here, at least a quarter of an inch here, and when I cut it out, I'll also have a quarter of an inch. So that's where you want to iron it, and you're ironing it on the wrong side because we're going to sew it as it is, and then we're going to turn it inside out. Okay, so there is our first one. Let me get these up. Fabric's been sitting in my stash, so it's um, all wrinkled. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this. And we are going to cut ourselves out a square. Leave your seam allowances here, and you got your quarter of an inch over here. So let's go ahead and make sure there's no wrinkles underneath here. And we're going to go ahead and put a pin here and we're going to cut out our fabric in a square. Same thing, you're going to want your seam allowances up here too. So give yourself enough room, at least a quarter of an inch. You can go ahead and cut this, you don't have to. but. Okay, so we've got a square of fabric, and we've got our collar on there, and we've got at least a quarter of an inch seam allowances all the way around. Okay, so that is our, um, let me leave this on, so our collar's ready. Okay, so now we're going to take our bodice pattern, and we're going to cut two of these out. If you want to save fabric, you can use a different, um, different color for the lining. You don't have to use your good fabric if you don't want to. But like I said, I got this at a thrift shop, so it's um, looks like they might have been somebody's uh, pre-cut fat quarters. Okay, so there's that one. So we're going to, I'm going to have that seam there. Nothing I can do about it. This is a raw edge, yes. Yeah, that's a raw edge. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to get this. Um, I think I'm going to be able to get this uh, seam out of here. 
to get some water and sprinkle it on. Well, we'll just make do with it. There's not really much I can do. I don't know how old this fabric is, but I washed it and still, I guess when I wash, washed it, it still folded with the um, uh, Okay, so let's cut out one of these. So there's one, let's do the other one. So I'm just going to do it right on top of the other one I just did. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this one out. I might do a little two-tone skirt, make a little tight skirt with a, uh, a yellow a red dress with a um, yellow ruffle on the bottom would be really cute too. So. Let's see what we end up with. Okay. Isn't that very good? All right. So we've got one, two pieces for the bottom, front and back. And we've got our red collar ready to sew. All right, so let me put this away, get the sewing machine all set up, and we will get ready to, um, I think once I get that folded over and the Velcro sewn on, you're never going to see that, see that um, uh, line of uh, fold there. Okay, I'll be back and we'll get started on the um, sewing on the collar and the uh, piping on the uh, bodice.